So you're welcome to Lent at 11, day 13. And again, as with all of this week, our reading is John 1, 35 to 39. The following day, John was again standing with two of his disciples. And as Jesus walked by, John looked at him and declared, Look, there is the Lamb of God. When John's two disciples heard this, they followed Jesus. Jesus then looked around and saw them following. What do you want? He asked them. They replied, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come and see, he said. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon when they went with him to the place where he was staying and they remained with him the rest of the day. And our second reading is Psalm 63, one to two. O oh God, you are my God, I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary and I've gazed upon your power and glory. Our daily thought for today, our deepest longing. Put bluntly, our deepest longing is for God. At the center of our hearts, beneath all the other desires and yearnings, there exists this persistent and intense longing to know God in our lives. We should not be surprised. We've been made by love, in love, to love. We are divinely designed for divine connection. God has made himself for us. And as Augustine once said, and our hearts will always be restless until they find their rest in God. So read Psalm 631 today to catch a glimpse of your restlessness and yearning hearts. The deepest longing is our bus ticket home, our daily practice and challenge. So pray your daily prayer request. Place your hand over your heart and feel your heart beat and pray these simple words, Lord, rekindle my longing for you. You may find it helpful to pray these words a few times in your quiet time today, allowing some silence in between each time so that they can spend time simply resting in your longing for God. Breathe in the love of God that surrounds you today. God bless. Take care and have a good day.